Lance wakes up peacefully for the first time in months. He sits up and sees Hero watching a biographical film on a chair beside the couch. Heart of Iron, the Tony Stark story. Lance hears the narrator mention M MIT and realizes that this is early in the film. I never knew Tony Stark was this interesting, Hero says. What time is it? Lance asks Hero groggily. 10.30, Hero says while not taking his eyes off the screen. Lance lays back down and stares at the ceiling. The overcast autumn sky shines through the windows and Lance suddenly feels his phone vibrate. He pulls it out of his pocket and sees a text from Annika and linking him to a news article. The Toronto Star. Lance reads to himself. Lance opens the article and blinks a few times to get his eyes prepared to read the article. It has been three weeks since the organization known as Powder Drum has, was deactivated by Lance Davidson and two other unnamed people. It is unknown where Lance has gone after seemingly disappearing from Toronto the same night, but some say he's gone fully into hiding, while others say he's returned to New York to turn himself in. Lance reads from a paragraph on the article. He finally sits up and looks around at all the boxes and begins to talk to Hero. Three weeks, Lance says. It's been three weeks since all that happened. Lance continues. Since Tony Stark died? Hasn't it been more like almost a year? Hero says, sounding confused. No, since Toronto, Lance says. Oh, right. Anyway, are you going to show me that project you've been working on for the past week? The one that you spent hours upon hours in the workshop trying to build? Hero asks ap apprehensively. Yeah, of course, Lance says, and gestures Hero to move Hero to follow him. So you're really moving back to Japan? Lance asks him. Yeah, I told you, two days from now, Hero says to Lance. Thanks for helping me pack, by the way, Hero adds. They walk into Hero's workshop and over to a bench with a duffel bag on it. Lance glances at Hero. Are you ready for this? He asks Hero. Let's see it, Hero says excitedly. Lance grins at Hero and unzips the duffel bag, revealing a blue and gold torso piece. A new suit? Hero says looking surprised. Not to mention dual sun guns, Lance says. And he grins at Hero while pulling the suit out of the, out of the bag. The metallic polish of the gold and blue spider symbol shone in the light. Check this out, Lance says. He grabs one of the web shooters from inside the bag and puts it on his right wrist. He shoots the web at his left hand and grabs it and pulls, re revealing the color of the web. Gold-colored webbing, Lance says proudly. No way, Hero says. He also takes note of the newly dyed hooded scarf with a blue hood and gold along the base, while looking at the web and torso piece. Lance, this, this suit is fit for an armored arachnid, Hero says to him. Huh, armored arachnid, Lance says lost in thought. Lance tells Hero that he's meeting with a friend later to talk about something important and that he's already packed his bags before putting the suit back in the duffel. Lance and Hero look at each other and nod. It's been a fun few months, Hero says with a smile. Lance looks at him and smiles back. Thanks for being by my side through all this. The two friends embrace each other in a hug before Lance takes the duffel bag and walks to the front of the house. He picks up his other bag and looks at Hero and the two smile and nod at each other. Lance walks out the door. Plans for the future. Bucky stands in front of the railing overlooking the water at Hart Plaza. He looks around seeing the shimmering water and Windsor on the other side. He likes the serenity. You know that's the first leather jacket I've seen you wear that doesn't have its left sleeve torn off. Lance says from behind Bucky as he walks up beside him. How's it going, Lance? Bucky says. He turns his head to Lance, but no doesn't quite make eye contact with him. Compared to no two months ago, way better, but... Lance cuts himself off by before turning around and sees a few people walking by. He lowers his voice. I can't believe people still think Peter and I killed Mysterio. He adds. By the way, have you spoken to him at all since what happened? Bucky asks. No, but I have actually admitted some things. I've talked to Clint Barton, cleared some things up, Lance says. Bucky looks at him and nods reverently. Hey, Bucky says. I saw this video a few days ago. It might help boost your morale. Maybe. Bucky pulls out his phone and types something in before handing it to Lance. Lance takes the phone and holds it and sees a news reporter talking to someone Lance recognizes. He soon realizes that the person the news reporter is speaking to is Emily, the girl from the gas station that said she wouldn't tip off the cops about him a month before. We're here interviewing this young woman about her encounter with Lance Davidson. Ma'am, were you scared to interact with the defend public figure? The, report, the reporter asks. I think we should wait to hear Lance's side of the story. He helped save the universe. Why would he ever kill anyone who's part of the effort to revive people? Lance smiles at the sight. Suddenly the video cuts to the elderly man Lance saved on the highway with the same news reporter 
asking him the same question as was previously asked. These news channels and all that can say whatever they want, but all I know is that Lance Davidson saved my life. I would have been a flaming wreck on the side of the highway two months ago if he hadn't stopped to help me. The elderly man looks at the camera. Now Lance, I want you to listen to me. Wherever you are, you ain't a bad guy to me. The video ends at that, and Lance smiles warmly. There's a lot of people who, be who believe you, Lance. And the only reason others don't is because people don't know what to believe. I mean, think about it. In the span of three months, we had two different Captain Americas. You were there, you saw it. And plus, Tony Stark is dead as well. Bucky says to Lance. And they also need to feel secure, knowing that they're in good hands. The world is crazy and heroes are the only people who can change that. So that people don't have to worry anymore. Lance looks at Bucky and then looks down as if he's thinking. You're right. You know what? I have the perfect tool for that. Lance says as he pulls up the bag and holds it up. What's that? Bucky asks. Lance zips the bag while saying no words. Revealing. The contents. A new suit? Blue and gold, huh? Bucky says impressed. Bucky looks back at the water and goes back to leaning over the railing, twiddling his thumbs. Well, you have a new suit. All you need is a new name. You can't just be Lance. So, any ideas? Bucky asks. Lance nods at Bucky and starts to talk. Well, I was thinking. The Armored Arachnid. November 24th. A blue 2021 Toyota Corolla hatchback drives up onto a dirt road surrounded by trees. Lance stops the car, turns it off, and sits for a second. Bucky looks over at him with a signature stare and Lance slowly glances over at him. You dragged me out to the Midwest for what? Bucky asks in an aggravated tone. Remember how Tony had a funeral? Lance asks. Bucky seems to wince at the subject of Tony's funeral but brushes it off and answers with a stern yes. And how Natasha didn't? Lance asks. Bucky nods again. Well, she does have a grave, Lance says while getting out of the car. Bucky follows him and they walk over to a headstone surrounded by flowers. It seems as if someone refreshes them every few weeks. Hey, not, Lance says as he gets on one knee in front of the headstone. Bucky apprehensively stands behind him. A lot has happened since you and Tony have been gone. It's been almost a year, but you know most of it. I spoke to Clint, buried the hatchet, Lance says happily. I just want you to know, these last few months have been difficult without you, but I know that somehow in some way you're still here. Your memory lives through me and I will not let it die. You saved me, trained me, and to be honest, I'm here to thank you one last time. Thank you, Natasha, so much. Lance finishes and gets up as he wipes a tear from his eyes. Bucky walks up closer to Lance and puts his arm around Lance's shoulder. You okay, man? Bucky asks. Lance and Bucky turn around and, be and the two begin to walk back to the car. Lance begins to smile. Yeah, I am. 